praise the Lord, saints. We praise the I am. Coming back today with a short little edification. I feel I need to encourage the remnant. I feel the need to encourage myself. And today as we are facing war and we're in a war, Ukraine against Russia and Russia against NATO and Ukraine. I'm going to pray and then I'm going to get into this short word and it's called and whoever will not receive you. Whoever will not receive you is the name of this short edification. Father, we thank you for you are the creator of all things. You are the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the King of glory. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Father, cleanse us from all the sin so that we can cling to you in sanctification. Father, help us unite back to you. Holy Spirit, help us to dive into the well of the Lord where there is water that we will never thirst again by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, saints. How you guys doing? They got the war going right now. Are you anxious about that? See, we can see it on TV and you can pull it up on YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and watch it like a video game, but this is real. People are losing their lives, civilians, military personnel. And we're over here in the United States wondering what's gonna happen. There's going to be a lot of changes, I can tell you that. And we must remember that we must go into God's strong tower so that we, the remnant, can be safe. I'm going to get in here a little bit and I want to talk about the subject when you're not received by someone or those that you remember that you used to have a good connection with. And then now things are changed. I want to let you know it's probably because of Matthew 24. It talked about rumors of wars and it talked about earthquakes in diverse places. And then it says the love of many shall will go wax cold. That explains to us simply you guys listen to this. That once there was more of a connection, there was agape love, but something took place on one side or both sides to create bitterness. But I want to show you what the Lord says about when you're not received. So today, if you feel all alone, if you lost a relationship, if you lost a family member, if you lost your job, if you lost a child, if you have lost something that was very, very traumatic for you, the good news is God is still there waiting for you to receive him. Luke 9, here we go. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over the demons and to cure diseases and curses. Two, he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said to them, take nothing for the journey, neither staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not have two tunics apiece. Verse four, whatever house you enter, stay there and from there depart. Verse five, this is my highlight verse. And whoever will not receive you, I'm going to say that again, and whoever will not receive you when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against them. Shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against 
them. The Lord here is saying, whoever will not receive you, if you have been conditioned in love and that you're using your will, that means your, your mind, your soul and your spirit, you're using your will to definitely help someone and then they're not receiving you, God says the curse will be on them. In five, it says, shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against them. We're in a season of murder. We're in a season of witchcraft. We're in a season of deception. We're in a season of war and tribulation. And the Lord is speaking today and he says, I know that they're not receiving you for their reasons, but he says, I have received you and I want you to focus on me. If you take this chance today and look at what God is saying, he's saying there's someone that you haven't met yet that you will be hand in hand with them and then they will receive you and they will not leave you as an orphan. He is the Lord and then he has an angel and he also has a humanity. There's one person that is getting ready to help you. And if they don't help you, just like Daniel in the lion's den, he said, if the Lord does not save me from the lion, I still will not bow down and worship your false images. The moral today of the story is, remember, you might not be received by family members anymore. You might not have the same friend or relationship with that person. It could be a physical relationship, a sexual relationship. It could be a marriage. It could be a boyfriend, a girlfriend. It could be an old friendship that has left you. The word in Ecclesiastic says, family, there's a time and season for everything. There's a time for war and there's a time for peace. There's a time for love and there's a time for hate. There's a time to build up and there's a time to tear down. The world right now in the system will tear you down to make you feel bad, to make you feel like you're doing something wrong. But God is speaking right now and he is telling the world, you better fix yourself while you have time versus looking in someone's garden. Because if you keep judging, there will be seven hands pointed back at you. Today, community. Whoever will not receive you, God says, when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against them. Against them because the remnant will win because we're still winning because of unconditional love will over support and it will outlast hate envy and jealousy from the spirit of the Lord. There's liberty from the church without judgment. Shabbat Shalom. We love you. And I'm going to pray right now. Sunday, I'm going to have a prayer service for Ukraine, for the civilians, for the military, for NATO. I'm going to have a prayer for Russia. I am praying for the nations and I'm going to pray for the world. I'm praying that Ukraine will come and have a Red Sea experience like Israel did because stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Lord, Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for you are the Lord of the land of the living. Father, rather, if even if we live or die, if we die with the Lord's or if we live, we will always be the Lord's. We are the temple of the living God. Lord, help us. We ask that the Holy Spirit would rise high and that it would catapult us into a new heaven and a new earth. Holy Spirit, we ask that you provide the fire of God that comes out right now. The fire, we ask, Lord, in this revival that you will 
be uplifted, that you would be raised up, that in due season, we shall get the victory if we don't lose faith in Jesus' name. Prayer service Sunday afternoon. We're having Bible study Sunday. And we bless you with a Sabbath shalom. The spirit of the Lord, we love you. The church without judgment. Amen.